Hello students, looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 24th March. On the front page you have, as virus toll rises to 9, states put in place tougher measures. So domestic flights have also been grounded. First fatalities have now been uh, seen in West Bengal and Himachal Pradesh too, due to coronavirus. Even curbs in Delhi have been in place and uh, still some are venturing out. You can see these are people waiting at the for transport in the times of curfew and the government has uh, police has now uh, decided to issue curfew passes too. And here you can see Punjab also imposes statewide curfew. So all this is COVID-19 related news. Tamil Nadu has announced hospital for COVID-19 patients, a dedicated hospital. So government multi-speciality hospital in Chennai will house this facility. And then here you have on page 2, uh, Delhi government has announced its budget. Our government presents 65,000 crore budget amid virus outbreak. So it has allocations to handle COVID-19 pandemic to the recent Delhi riots too. It has also decided to implement Ayushman Bharat scheme, the healthcare scheme, Pradhan Mantri Jana Arogya Yojana, which provides 5 lakh health insurance cover to families per year. So earlier it has opposed this scheme, our government, now it has decided to implement it. Police would issue curfew passes to people associated with essential services. On page 7, you have COVID-19 related case news and here you have Bhima Koregaon Commission asks for 6 month extension. So, this is a two member judicial commission which is inquiring into the 2018 Bhima Koregaon violence case. So, it had earlier also sought extension and now it has sought another 6 month extension from Maharashtra government. So, it has postponed its hearings in view of the coronavirus outbreak and resulted lockdown. So, it is asking for a 6 month extension further. So, there was violence in Bhima Koregaon which is near Pune in, uh, in 2018 on 1st Jan 2018. That was the 200th anniversary celebration of Bhima Koregaon battle of 1818. So, this is, a bat this is a battle in which Britishers fought against the Marathas and the British fighters were soldiers from the Mahar community. So, the bravery of the soldiers, how they battled the Marathas and without food and water um, for so many days. So, that is the bravery of the soldiers which is celebrated every year. It was a 200th anniversary and every time it is opposed by the Marathas because Marathas were defeated in, in that battle. So, it always results in conflict and this was a major celebration as it was a 200th anniversary and resulted in riots. So, commission has been set up to look into this matter. So, it is now seeking an extension. On page 8, you have professionals join hands to digitize over 900 Yakshagana scripts. So, Yakshagana, you should know, is a play, a traditional play. So, the scripts of Yakshagana are now being digitized. So, here you can see the content is made available online for free, thanks to the voluntary community's effort by some Yakshagana lovers. So, you should know in terms of culture, all about Yakshagana. On page 9, you have Supreme Court to go digital to maintain social distancing. So, now Supreme Court has decided only urgent cases would be taken up via video app. So, court has also uh, shut its physical case, you know, physical hearings, but digital hearings would take place. On the editorial page, the first editorial is lockdown and beyond. So, it says governments must aid people during this difficult phase and prepare for wider testing. So, the steps which government needs to take during such times is detailed out here. And this is regarding Maoist, the Maoist trap. So, it says in difficult terrain, security personnel end up second best despite the training. So, fighting the Maoists in difficult terrain is a challenge for the security forces. And this is the detail being given out here in the context of the recent incident. Too. So, here you can see in Sukma district, Maoist extremists killed 17 security personnel and injured 50. 
and the lead article is a pandemic and economic blow and the fix so a package of 5 lakh crore to 6 lakh crore targeted across different sections of society and economy is what is required is what this article says to deal with this pandemic then this is the age of neoliberal virus so it says in response to the pandemic countries have hardly evinced concern about the health and well-being of workers so they're talking about pandemic about uh, concerns about the people concerns about the economy but concerns about those who are working you know about for this the workers healthcare workers so their well-being is being neglected so that is highlighted in this article And on the op-ed page you have, for a new generation of heroes in quotes. So it says, it is because of the righteous conduct and commitment to the constitution that some judges stand out. So this is the Chief Justice of Punjab and Haryana High Court, Justice Ravi Shankar Jha, administering oath of office to Justice S. Mudlidhar as Punjab and Haryana High Court judge in Chandigarh. So his transfer had resulted in a controversy, Justice Mudlidhar. From Delhi High Court, he was transferred to Punjab and Haryana High Court. Then this is COVID-19, many tasks at hand. So it says India has a formidable challenge ahead as it needs to control the disease, combat misinformation and protect civil liberties. Then this is long live the nation state. So it says COVID-19 pandemic has demonstrated that the nation state is not only alive but absolutely essential. So we are talking about globalization. So in terms of COVID-19 now how globalization does not work but the nation state concept has become more important. Then on page 12 you have Lok Sabha passes finance bill without debate. So budget session has ended early because of the situation arising out of COVID-19 pandemic and the budget has been passed without a debate. And six more bills have been passed by Rajya Sabha on the last day of the session. On international page you have pandemic is accelerating says World Health Organization. So it says to win, we need to attack the virus with aggressive and targeted tactics. And below you have scientists identify drug candidates against virus. So scientists have investigated 26 of the SARS-CoV-2, 29 genes with direct production of the viral protein. So these proteins can be targeted, the virus can be eliminated. So, nearly 70 drugs and experimental compounds may be effective in treating the COVID-19 cases. So, this is what a team of researchers have reported and some of the medications just said are already used to treat other diseases and they are uh, repurposing them for treatment of COVID-19. So, that would become faster than to invent a new antiviral from scratch. So, work is underway. Then on business page you have Center amends law to enable excise duty increase on fuel. So changes have been made to finance bill by the central government to raise the levy on petrol diesel by rupees 8 per liter. So you can see the limit up to which the government can raise special excise duty on petrol and diesel is now 18 per liter and 12 per liter for petrol and diesel respectively. So on March 14, excise duty was raised by rupees 3 per liter on petrol and diesel each. So this resulted in an additional 9,000 crore in revenue annually for the central government. So no hike is planned now is what the government says but it has made an enabling provision in the bill that government can increase excise duty further. So that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website and here there is one important news RBI has now brought in priority sector classification for non-banking finance companies too. so this is important 
which is there for banks now it will be there for nbfc's too so that is it thank you